Holly uh, has the most mature technology um, for smart meters. So we were able to integrate all of the Holly technology to an electric vehicle charging station, which will allow this a thumbprint, so you can get billed by thumbprint, keypad, smart card reader. So you can pay any possible way. So if you were a gas station, for instance, they can pay for their charging any possible way. So the, 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 the more modern charging stations that we're building look more familiar like a gas pump. The reason why we do that is not because it needs to be that size, but the public's mind is used to using a gas pump. And so we don't want to change the mindset of the public, let someone else do that. <laughs> Our concept is that a consumer could drive up to a gas station and they might see three pumps. One is gasoline, one is maybe diesel, another is electricity. They all look the same. With Holly as a partner, there's no middleman. Is working on a battery swap out program to swap out a battery, but the amount of real estate that it takes to hold that many batteries and the amount of capital that it takes to inventory that many batteries is so much that only in small little areas could it be practical. As I was telling you, Zap is the oldest electric vehicle car company in modern history that is still in existence. There was another historic company that is actually the oldest car, electric vehicle car company in history um, that was a hundred years ago that was the most famous and it sold, they sold more electric cars even than anyone has sold today a hundred years ago and we uh, own that brand which is called Detroit Electric. The Detroit Electric in Detroit, Michigan. This was built in Detroit, Michigan a hundred years ago. Back then they had the tiller steering. This is the steering. You sit and you drive this way, and that's how you steer the wheel. A <laughs> hundred years ago, this vehicle was able to get 80 mile range. A hundred years ago. That's all the technology and all the improvements, they haven't been able to get a whole lot more than that today. <laughs> so that's a little piece of history. Original. Original paint. Everything original. This car still runs. Electric motors will go a million miles. It's really hard to wear out. Gas station owners, you know, there was more profit in oil, so these cars were pushed aside. 15,000 of these. 100 years ago. Yes, no one has done that yet. When I went to the Yosemite, Yosemite Park, the other day, that all the people and all the electric car drivers of people. Yes, yeah, it was very I, popular. Yeah, I could I look at it, a picture, I can tell this is not, you know, that electric. No, yeah. it's very, very, there were yeah. many car companies that were electric back uh -huh. 100 years ago. And then they all, you know, um, sell oil. Oh, yeah. and they Yeah. Over here is uh, that one. Um, the U.S. Post Office again. Fleet the Post Office does about 40 miles every day. 
which technology is mature enough for that type of an application, it's an ideal application to be able to go. This is a good idea. Very good idea. And now with DHL, FedEx, oh, yeah, kind of the post office doesn't carry any heavy packages anymore and the internet. And so mostly it's lightweight, electric. The, Post office sits in idle like a taxi all day long. Polluting. Yeah, it's the ideal application for electric vehicles, and uh, we were one of five companies that were awarded the contract to convert uh, U.S. postal vehicles to electric. This is what came out of the post office: oil, dirt, filth, replaced by clean energy. This was they're taking it apart now for the next race. But this was the actual car that was in the last race. It's all over the internet. If you look, you can see X Prize. You'll see the car in the race. That's the power plant that was in it. Now, this is the battery pack in the, in the alias. All built and engineered and designed right here. All the car, the red car, the white car, everything built from scratch right here. You can see these are all prototype vehicles. And so these ATVs that you see here in the prototype stage are the one of the few, if not the only, electric ATVs that are approved by the federal government uh, in, in their design and capability to be able to be driven in the United States. And so we're not on the street. No, no, but they're just driven on the uh, anywhere. We can't now they put safety regulations on ATVs in the US, so you can't even buy one of these standards. Is there a general? The market that we're using these for are mostly a commercial uh, vineyard, uh, trailer that comes back. What you can hear with this is this is a chain drive axle motor. If you use a hub motor, it's completely silent. So just a few days ago, we announced a new lithium battery for all vehicles that are running on lead acid batteries. And so what we've done is the similar batteries that are in the uh, alias, uh -huh. we've created um, an insert. Uh -huh. So the lithium goes in the insert, uh -huh. fits the same size capacity where the lead acid normally would be. Uh -huh. You could drop it right in the same spot for oh. any, whether it's a golf uh -huh. cart or any uh, forklift or any type of uh -huh. RV vehicles where lead acid would fit. Uh -huh. And you can, you know, Easily double the range, or oh. triple, or quadruple, or oh. more, but in the same spot without any mm -hmm. vehicle modification, mm -hmm. and it has a little battery management system on each battery. You just drop it right in. We just finished designing it and announced it last week. Oh. So we'll just take people. a little walk. We have a few other buildings that are close by. So Zap has sold more electric vehicles than any electric car company. I know Zap is But what you see here and over there, just and we have cars all over the place. This is more electric cars, completed electric cars that are ready for sale than any civilian, than any of you will ever see, uh, no matter where you could go in the entire world. So it's and your oil business is still safe, so don't worry. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you.